This is a walkthrough video of Whispering Sands condo unit number 204. We're at 225 Hourglass Way. And so this is a two bedroom condo. It is uh, 1,271 square feet under air. It has a enclosed lanai that's not part of that air conditioned space. And so the total square footage is about 1,550. So there's uh, some things I really like about this unit. First of all, uh, attractive diagonal 16 inch tile. Um, it's really nice uh, throughout and that runs all the way into the lanai as well. The kitchen's been updated with this large Baltic brown granite bar that sticks out, which is actually really nice. The kitchen itself is rather small with white appliances, um, but I do like the backsplash. Um, you know, it's a little tight in here, but that's okay because all the entertaining will take place right around here. So it does have a rather open floor plan that allows you to, from the dining to the living room and then out to the lanai. So Whispering Sands is a nice complex just, just north of Siesta Key Village. I mean, we, you can walk to all the restaurants and bars down on, in Siesta Key Village. So this lanai is glassed in, so it does have windows, but this is not air conditioned space out here. However, you know, it keeps the temper, it keeps the dust and the rain out, so that's, that's real nice. And each bedroom opens up onto, onto um, the lanai. The view itself is very tranquil, tranquil and peaceful, and i um, just kind of give you an idea. It's quiet here, one thing I really like. Um, you can really hear the silence, um, but the landscaping is all very nice, and I um, love that tree over there. It's really cool looking out over this lagoon. So, um, so this is a nice thing to have completely open, and um, you know when the weather's nice, having all there's a be a nice breeze that would come through here. Um, so let me show you the rest of the property. This underneath here, I was wondering, and I, I think these are just shallow cabinets right here, um, and they're not that shallow. So there's, there's a fair amount of storage down under, underneath there, because there's not a lot of cabinet space in the kitchen. You have that pantry, you got uppers, you got lowers, but you have a fair amount of space, uh, a cabinet space down there. Other spots, you know, included right there. So there's a fair amount of little uh, cabinetry given that the kitchen is rather small. This is just a storage unit or a storage closet. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let me take a look at, this is guest bedroom number one. And this, um, you know, pretty basic stuff. I, I did notice uh, popcorn on the ceiling and, and uh, they weren't able to run a wire for the ceiling fan, so that's, that's the way to do it. And probably, uh, probably that's because it's pre-stressed concrete and you probably can't get up there very easy. But this is a good size room. Uh, the flooring in here is, is a laminate. It's, it's nice. And then this is the master bedroom. The master bedroom's big. Both bedrooms have crown molding. Uh, kind of cool colors in here. This is kind of a lavender color. And there is a, there is a bedroom, uh, bathroom of a good size closet here, which is nice. And then uh, the bathroom, I've, I've never been a fan of black toilets, but this has a black toilet. I mean, it, it's sleek and kind of modern looking, but it's also a bit dated. I do like how the shower has been done. Um, I like the little glass tile and the glass door there. This is very nice. I'm always getting ideas, you know, for I'm getting ready to do my shower. I've been saying that for about a year, but um, I do like that. So that bathroom's really nice. And uh, this is a good size room, again, very private, going out to the lanai there. The guest bath also is pretty nice. Uh, this is a Corian top. I, I kind of like the sink and the cool faucet. And um, this is a jutted tub. As you can see, there's a little, um, you know, for your little whirlpool tub type. I like the tile in here. And a uh, different tile here than throughout the rest of the house. So that, so we do have several flooring surfaces. We have, we have uh, laminate in there, we have carpet in the master, and then we have two types of tile here. Um, 
this is uh, just a linen closet. So the unit's pretty simple. The, the thing I like about Whispering Sands, they have reasonable HOA fees. It's, it's $700 a month, but that includes pretty much everything. Um, your only other bill beyond that's going to be your taxes and your electric. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. If you'd like to see this unit or any other units, please give us a call. Thanks for watching.